Today I'm going to make one of my son's favorite pies. And what I really like about it is it's so easy. You just throw everything in a pie plate after you mix it in a bowl and you bake it and that's all. So <clears throat> this is called a crustless coconut pie. Now I am going to make my mom's classic coconut cream pie in the future because it's a family favorite. And I also have a YouTube uh, friend that requested that I make it as well. So, but today I'm going to show you the easiest way to make a coconut pie. It's just effortless. So, I hope you enjoy this recipe. It's absolutely wonderful. First thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then you want to melt a quarter cup of butter or a half a stick. Okay, while you're melting your butter on the stove, you want to crack four eggs. those. You want to add two cups of whole milk and you want a teaspoon of vanilla. I put a little more which is fine. Then you want to add two cups of sugar. And a half a cup of flour. And the only thing we're going to add back in here, well, you can do this by hand, just like I'm doing. You don't need a mixer. You're just going to whisk all this together. You can use a mixer, but you don't need one. And then as soon as we're done mixing this, we're going to add our melted butter. Okay, here goes our butter. We're just going to blend that together. And then you're going to take seven ounces of sweetened coconut. And you're just going to mix it together. And that's it. Sometimes you might have a little burnt coconut in there. You just take it out. So now all you do is you get your pie pipe and you don't need to grease it because there's butter in here already. Just pour it in your pan. And those are just little pieces of dark coconut in there. That's all it is. I'm just gonna take it out. Okay, we're gonna pop this in the oven on 350 degrees for 30 minutes. Just took this out of the oven, so now it's, we're gonna let it cool probably about a good hour. It will be a little jiggly in the middle, but it will firm up. Okay, let's give it a try. I let it cool for about 45 minutes, and normally it cools for about an hour, and you can also refrigerate it if you want. But I like to eat mine warm, so let's give it a try. Very, very delicious. Mm. A few like coconut. This is absolutely wonderful. Super creamy. And like I said, the longer it sets, the firmer it gets. But I like to have it a little creamier. So I cut into it anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour, but I don't refrigerate it. So I hope you give this a try. I think you'll absolutely love it. Thanks for watching.